Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Things are still falling apart in Kenya, Kwanzaa. The center can no longer hold. Earlier today, both Ruto and Bigadi Gashagwa attended a church function in Nakuru County. And Rigadi clearly broke the protocol. He arrived one hour late when Ruto was already seated. And that goes contrary to the national security protocol for any individual to be allowed to any event when the president is already seated. And also as the deputy president, it's expected of him to arrive earlier before the president arrives. Rigadi broke the protocols. And you are seeing him there arriving on a private helicopter. Thus, Rigadi Gashagwa, when he was arriving one hour late. And then you are also seeing William Ruto there arriving, accompanied by Nakuru Governor Susan Kehika and other Kenya Kwanzaa's elected leaders. And also, if you look at those photos there, you are seeing Ruto chatting there with Susan Kihika. And then you are also seeing that photo there. Farouk Kibet strategically positioned between Ruto and Rigadi. And that was deliberate, which I'm going to explain as we continue. And that sitting arrangement where Farouk Kibet was strategically placed there has been causing serious political debates. Gabriel Oguda, they strategically placed Farouk Ibed behind the stool so that Gashagwa can use smoke signals when he wants to communicate with his boss, Mungu Bariki Wengine Sasa. Kenyans have been having varied opinions as to why Farouk Ibed was strategically sitting there. Before we dig deep into our analysis, let's have a look at the story of Rigadi breaking the protocol as captured by KTN News Kenya. Let or left out, DP Gashagwa's late arrival at event sparks debate. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's broken protocol for arriving an hour after President William Ruto and other leaders had settled at an event, eliciting mixed reactions among Kenyans. This was during the Corino National Conference held at Nakuru Boys High School in Nakuru on Sunday, June 9. The president arrived at the event alongside governors Susan Kihika, Mudomi Njuki, and Irungu Kangata, Cabinet Secretaries Zakari Njeru and Moses Kuria, and a host of other elected and unelected Kenya Kwanzaa leaders. About an hour after the president made his way to the grounds, the deputy president arrived, raising eyebrows on whether he was late or was left out of the day's plans. According to the National Security Protocol, individuals who arrive at an event after the president has sat down are not allowed to access the venue. Protocol also demands the DP arrives at a venue way before the head of state to welcome him. Sources close to the deputy president's office have told the standard that the deputy president was aware of the event but was late due to unavoidable challenges. The DP was aware of the event today and he was part of the event planning. He arrived late due to transport and weather challenges in Karen, a source at the DP's office says. 
When his turn at the podium came, Gashago apologized and explained to the president why he arrived at the event in Akuru when the service was underway. He says he had problems with the transport arrangements, adding that the weather was also not favorable for air travel and his team had to sort it out before his journey began. Surprisingly, when the DP arrived, the seat reserved for him next to the president, as protocol dictates, had been occupied by land CS Zakari Njeru, but when he arrived, the CS had to leave the seat for the second in command. That's the story as captured by KTN. So it's clear things are falling apart. The center can no longer hold. I want us to answer one question. Why is it that Trigadi Gashagwa arrived late for that event? That's the question I want us to answer here. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, subscribe in order not to miss our next analysis. Let's continue. I know there might be so many reasons as to why I arrived late, but let's summarize them to understand exactly why he arrived late. The first reason, Rigadi wanted to spy Ruto as a revenge to the kind of a treatment he has been getting from the government. I think that was a time for Rigadi to revenge against Ruto. That's why he arrived late. The second reason, Rigadi is a sympathy addict. He wanted to arrive late so that he could be blocked for him to start getting some sympathy. He could have now started spreading this message that you see they are even blocking me from attending their functions. It was deliberate for him to be blocked so that he could use that as a campaign tool. So Rigadi is coming out as a disparate sympathy addict. He knew of that event and he was even part of the preparations of that event, but then he decides to arrive late. Another reason that was a way of Rigadi Gashagwa was requesting William Ruto to allow him use the military choppers. So I fail to understand again why somebody calling himself a villager now wants to use a military chopper. There is this narrative that Rigadi's allies are trying to propagate that he's a villager. Why must a villager use a military chopper? Why can't he not just use a bicycle or even a normal car? Why must he use a military chopper? So Rigadi wanted just to request Ruto indirectly to allow him use military choppers. That's why he was arriving late to pass that message. And also, I won't be wrong to say that maybe Rigadi was not very sure whether to attend that event or not. He was torn between attending that event and not attending, but eventually decided to attend. All that proves that Rigadi is not a disciplined deputy president. He is too rude, too arrogant. He does not respect his boss, and that will not augur very well for him in the coming days. As a deputy president, his boss is Ruto, and irrespective of how much he's being mistreated, he should always respect the boss and follow the protocols. He clearly broke the protocols. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think about that. Let me hear from you on the comment section. 
but it's very clear things are going south things are falling apart the center can no longer hold if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed subscribe give the video a like let's meet in our next analysis thank you god bless you god bless kenya